guys what is up i'm so excited to do this video it has been i don't even know if i did one last year honestly but i'm doing one this year my last video i don't know i'll put some cards up here the last video that i did unboxing my erin condren planner i love this i look forward to it every single year if you are new to my channel hello i talk about all things honestly all things that i love <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I ordered. This is my old planner. This is the one that I got last year and I love it. So this um, planner cover is actually from stylishplanners.com or .co. Uh, I will link all of this in the description so that you guys can check it out. If you do not have one of these planners, if you've never heard of it, or if you're like possibly wanting to look for it, I do have a discount code down in the bottom. You have to go through the link in my description and you get, I think $10 off your first order, I think. Um, something like that. You do get $10 off, I get $10. So something like that, it is like an affiliate link or whatever, but it saves you some money, so why not? I use tons and tons of stickers, monthly stickers, weekly stickers, like, I love stickers. Ever since I found out that this whole planner community was a thing, I absolutely fell in love. And I do not do a lot of planner videos, but this is one video I look forward to and I can't wait to show you. This is the box that came in. The box is super cute, by the way. And when you open it up, there's like this little newspaper slash magazine kind of telling you what's going on with Erin Condren different like activities, different planners and like new stuff that they have. Since I ordered this on the the insider day or whatever, uh, you got a free little pen and a free pencil case, which are both super adorable. If the planner was in this color and not in like the multicolors, I probably would have gotten that one, but it's just a cute little gold pen and it's white and coral. I do like how it writes though. So I just wrote hello right there. I do actually really like how it writes. It feels really good in my hand, so I'll probably keep that in my purse. And then this is the cute little pencil pouch, sparkly and like iridescent, and it's kind of see-through a little bit. And then it's got this strap that hooks around the planner. Whoa, well, it hooks around the planner like this so that you can keep it attached to your planner, which I think is actually an amazing idea because I have a lot of specific things that I only use in my planner. This is perfect size for a few pens and some of the other things that I got, but that was one of the freebies. I don't know if they still have these. If you're ordering the planner now, you may get some. I know that they kind of give them out until they run out, like they have like a limited quantity, but I really do like it. It's super cute. And those were both free. Then I got the colorful dual tip markers in... The colors are bubblegum, lemon, turquoise, seafoam, orchid, and gray. These are the markers. I thought that they were really, really pretty online. So there's two ends. One end. Here's one end. It's like a fatter marker style. It was a little deceiving, but it is a little bit thinner. I'll show you on my hand. I just drew on my hand. So one is a little bit thicker. The other one is more, I guess, sort of like the felt tip like sharpie markers the other thing i got i didn't know that this was a thing i did not know aaron condren had this this seriously would have saved me a lot of trouble if i knew this i don't know how long she has had this on her website but if you like the bullet journals or if you like using a lot of um just like pens or markers in your layouts if you're not like a huge on stickers or whatever i love stickers but Sometimes I don't always use a lot of stickers depending on how I feel that week. So this is actually a stencil, which I think is so cool. I'm using the, leaving the backing on so you guys can see it. So you can make like the little square boxes and arrows, thumbs up, little banners, all of that fun stuff. And then the one at the bottom even says weekend, which is so cool because I always love having the weekend one. So this is just really neat and I can make... I don't even know if this is that big of a deal to any of you. To me, it is a big deal. But every time I try to make squares, like for the little check boxes, when I make them on my own, they're never even. Apparently, I can't make an even square. So this was probably, I don't know. I think it was like $5, maybe. I don't know. But I ordered it because I know that I will 100% start using this right away. I will probably start using it tonight. But I really like it. And it's a perfect little 
perfect little addition. That is all of the accessories I got. And then now it's time for the planner. They had vertical, hourly, and horizontal, and I was really tempted to get hourly, but I don't know. I just think that I'm vertical for life. I've never really been horizontal. We used to have the horizontal planners in high school and I didn't really like them at all. So there, she had three different themes, the floral theme, mid-century circles, and I don't even know what this one's called. I can't even remember the one that I got. But anyway, um, it's like script, like written out script. And I got the colorful one last year. Um, this one that I had last year was the neutral and I decided to switch it up. I think that's what I do every year. Every year I swap from neutral to colorful. But I'm really happy I got the colorful because it is colorful, but it's neutral. This is the cover that I got. It comes with the little bookmark, which it always does. I literally have lost or broken all of the other ones that I have. Um, and then I got this little tie-dye cover and you can write whatever you want on it. So it is written in gold like foil. You can kind of see it's like metallic. Um, and I put laugh without fear and then my name, Shannon Jimenez on there. And then if you don't know, these have like you can write on them with dry erase markers and they are interchangeable so all of my covers that i have that i've saved from like my previous planners or that i've purchased i can switch them out but i love this especially for summer i've had this planner cover on here since last year since i got this planner last what what march may april something like that i'm gonna open it up and i will show you a little bit and then i will switch the camera over so that you guys can see the downward view and like look at the differences side by side this is what i mean by it being colorful so there is a lot of script and like written out really beautiful quotes and that is sort of the theme for the entire planner the only thing i don't really like about it is that I don't know like I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it but that's the colorful part nothing else is colored everything else is black or like grayish it almost is like a charcoal color maybe it is black but it doesn't look black black but like there's no color on the monthly pages there's no color on the notes pages it's very plain it's very minimal and then the weekly view there's also no colors. Literally the only thing that is colored are the tabs and the beginning of each month is the same color as the tab. And then in the back, of course, there is stickers that you get included. I rarely even use these, but I probably will start using them because I never use them and I don't want them to go to waste. So you get like four sheets of stickers and then you get a pocket in the back. So this one did not come with a what is it called perpetual calendar this is the perpetual calendar normally it comes with every Erin Condren I guess they're no longer doing that I just keep this to keep track of everybody's birthdays and I switch it from planner to planner so I guess it doesn't really matter because I have one already but I know that some people look forward to that and maybe if you've never purchased a planner maybe it would be something that you would want I don't know if she sells them separately she probably does to be honest, maybe a lot of people just didn't really want them. Um, but I just use them to keep track of like anniversaries or special days, birthdays, different stuff like that. And then that way I can like monthly, I just pull this out when I do my monthly spread. This is a little sticker sheet with all the holidays that I'm assuming like not major holidays necessarily. So like Christmas, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, those are, let's see if they're already written in here. Halloween's in here. Daylight Savings Time, Election, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving. So those ones are in here. These are just separate ones. They're different. So like Grandparents Day, National, Latinx Heritage Month, Adoption Month. Dia de los Muertos is on here if you're Hispanic. International Women's Day. So I guess if you just want to want certain ones on here or if you don't want certain ones on here, maybe they just put these on here depending on what you wanted in your planner I don't know because they have some written in the planner so that's a little confusing but I guess it's nice and then they have like extra little stickers down here at the bottom that are little like a banner so little like banner stickers like this that's really cute they also did not include coupons 
typically every year that I've bought some, they included like a set of two coupons to use, like coupon codes that you can either use for like 20% off your next order, you can give them to friends or whatever. They, I haven't seen any of those. And then you can see the top one right here. This is how thin it starts. And then when after adding all my stickers and all my other stuff, like I can't even get that cover to stay closed, but <laughs> it's, it's a lot. It's pretty thick. This is so heavy compared to this. This is like nothing compared to what I have right here. So I can't use it until July. It doesn't start till July, but I'm going to go with it side by side for you guys so that you can kind of see. So this video may be a little bit longer. Sorry if you don't like that. Um, you're welcome if you do. Let's take you inside. This is my other planner this is the brand new one right here so this i will just go through a few random pages so that you guys can see um so we have the monthly pages my daughter got to this one and it is a bit rough but these are i really like the font to be honest i really like that it's printed this one was more of like a script font and then a print but I really do like how clean this one is um, the first page right here this one actually has like lined sheets for intentions goals a new start mindset stuff like that it's kind of like a notes page this one does as well but this one I think looks a little bit better I really like that there's I don't know like a thicker black I don't even know if this is like a charcoal or thicker black but it says the goal is a dream with a deadline this one just says new start new intentions new results I guess depending on what you wanted to do and then the first page of July is a quote here same with this one a quote and a notes page so those are pretty similar. This is what the, I'll move this over for a sec. So this is what the month view looks like. It's just very simple. I do like that it's a little darker so that it's just easier to see. These ones were dotted lines. If you can see that right there, it's hard to see, but like right here, these are dotted lines and they're solid lines. Solid, 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 I don't know keep saying salad like food but it's not <laughs> um and then we have the notes page which i actually love using this page for different goals and birthdays for the month so it's sort of the same layout as this one right here birthdays goals vacation and then like a little dotted section is what i did um and then it just says july this has the same thing let's see yeah so these are bulleted the same lines um little dots this one however is different you open it up i'm gonna try to find a plain page i don't have a lot of plain pages let's see if i can find here you know what this was the old planner this was the old planner right here and let me zoom in just a little bit there so this is the old planner you can see that it's dotted lines the boxes sort of just connect right here. They don't, there's like no extra space for writing. And then you have the month and then the little calendar at the top here. Nothing at the bottom, all lines. This one is, this one is a little bit different. So we have the calendar at the bottom instead of the top this time. And then the top still has the written out month, but there is sort of a little header so my battery died I had to adjust the angles a little bit um but anyway so this one has I'm gonna lay them next to each other so you can kind of see the differences while they're together I know it's a little hard to see so this is the new one this is the one from last year so as you can see they have little headers whereas this one just was a straight line that connected I actually really do like this I kind of was annoyed that it didn't have that last year. Um, and then down here, I didn't like that there was a separate little header space there because it didn't really, I like it, it was too small to write in and I didn't really know what to do with it. They got rid of that part completely and then they just left the four little lines in here, but they're also not dotted. So all of these are dotted lines. They're tiny little polka dots. This one is not dotted at all 
and they have the month at the bottom this one is at the top for the old one i do like the font a lot so i'm gonna go through and show you the stickers so you get a full page of colorful stickers i don't know if the stickers are different if you get the neutral one or if you get one of the florals or the other layouts but this these are the ones that came in this one so some circles and some banners this one there's habit trackers this week today rescheduled canceled to do's these are all really pretty and they're all metallic and then these are the little birthday boxes i actually really liked these i use these a lot and then you have some a lot of different colors actually for these ones which is really nice because this one did not and i guess because it was neutral but <laughs> i didn't even use that many because these colors never went with my weekly theme i'm a lot more of a colorful person than i am a neutral person i just liked the idea of the neutral layout so that i could make it more colorful if that makes sense but so these will go with my theming and then this is what the pocket looks like this side and this side both have pockets and then the little stickers in here so that that is it that is the entire planner and then you guys can see up close that i just got it to say laugh without fear and then my name and i really did like this tie dye there was like three different tie dyes to choose from and this was the more colorful one i think there was a blue one and then i think that there was maybe purple i hope that this was helpful or informative to you maybe you'll go get one i love this thing i've been using erin condren for i think since 2015 or 2016 so like five ish five six years ish around there i love it i don't think i'll ever go back i have attempted to try the recollections planners and although price wise they're a lot better like they're way better price wise but the paper quality i didn't like it it was a lot thinner it was more see-through and i like to use here i really like using these pens and these are really similar to the Sharpie pen and I got these from Target one day because they were out. This is by U Brands. They're just like a felt tip marker pen. I love using these. I love the Sharpie pens and I just got this one to play around with which is the Pilot G2 and it's 0.05 millimeters I think is what it is and so I just started using this one last night so I don't know if I like I'm in love with this one yet and then I use a lot of highlighters when I would try the recollections the paper just wasn't as good it bled through it showed through and I don't like that I'm not saying you have to go out and buy like a $60 planner but this is the one that I prefer I hope that you liked the unboxing and the haul and as always if you guys have any questions at all leave them in the comments I try to answer everybody as best as I can I will leave all the links in the description box down below and if you guys want to you can follow me on Instagram that'll be in the description box um, I am at fearlessly Shannon on Instagram I am there constantly so if you guys want to follow me on there I welcome it <laughs> I will see you guys next week thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and following and being here and being supportive and kind and loving and awesome thank you see you guys